Elizabeth Senate back in 1988. While Smith reported his lawyer still appealed, claiming the gas poisoning would violate the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. President Biden notching a significant endorsement from organized labor. United Auto Workers President Sean Fain endorsing Biden on Wednesday did not hold back in his criticism of former President Trump, who he says had an eye on union busting. He wanted to do a rotation. Workers would be begging for their jobs back. Fain credited Biden for becoming the first sitting U.S. president to join workers on the picket line. I'm Ryan Daniels, USA News. Welcome to Breakpoint, a daily look at an ever-changing culture through the lens of unchanging truth. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street. now is that women, as a group, tend to fall to the left of men politically. Now, one factor behind this striking divide in politics between the sexes is the left's obsession with condemning the so-called patriarchy or toxic masculinity. Many young men hear this as a condemnation of their very existence. Similarly, the leftward lurch among women could have something to do with the perception that abortion is only a women's issue and the increasingly hysterical warnings that restricting abortion in any way is the equivalent of subjecting women to handmaid's tale type reproductive slavery. As entering marriages and creating families becomes more and more rare, it's little wonder so many who historically would have looked for protection and provision from the home are now instead looking for it from Washington, D.C. In other words, the wedges that radical feminism, the sexual revolution, and the breakdown of the family have driven between the sexes are most likely the main reason for this growing political divide. Women and men were created for one another, not just to build families, but to build societies. Since each sex is indispensable, both in their own ways will become lost when isolated. The Apostle Paul said it this way in 1 Corinthians, quote, Woman is not independent of man, nor man of woman. For as woman was made for man, so man...